In this video, I will consider one numerical on maximum power transfer theorem. Determine the load resistance to receive maximum power from the source. Also find the maximum power delivered to the load in the circuit shown below. This is the given circuit. Here we need to find the value of RL for which maximum power is received from the source and we have to find the maximum power delivered to the load. So here RL is the load. This can be solved using maximum power transfer theorem. So in maximum power transfer theorem, first we need to remove this load from the circuit. Let me remove this load from the circuit. So the circuit looks like this. Here there was a load register that I have removed. Now I will find the voltage between these two terminals. The voltage between these two terminals is known as VOC or open circuit voltage. Let me find the open circuit voltage between terminal A and B. So here we can observe that 10 and 30 when we remove this load register 10 and 30 will become in series and 20 and 40 are become in series. So the current the voltage across 10 and 30 and voltage across 20 and 40 is same that is 100 volt. Let me assume current through this branch is I1 current through this branch is I2. So here the current I1 so here this circuit is equivalent to like this here I will draw so this is 100 volt and this is 10 ohm this is 30 ohm that is 10 this is 30 similarly here we have this is 20 and here we have 40 this is 20 and 40 so current through this is I1 current through this is I2 so voltage across this is 100 volt voltage across this is also 100 volt Therefore, I can write I1 is equal to 100 divided by sum of these two that is 40 which is nothing but 10 by 4 is equal to 2.5 amps. Similarly, I can find I2 that is I2 is equal to here it is 100 divided by 60 that is 10 by 6 which is equal to so this is 1.66 7. So now VOC is the voltage between these two terminal is nothing but voltage across voltage at this point minus voltage at this point. So I can write here VOC will be equal to voltage at this point that is VA minus voltage at this point that is VB. So in turn I can write VA will be equal to voltage across 30 ohm register is VA. So in 30 ohm register current I1 is flowing. So I can write 30 into I1 gives VA that is 30 into 2.5. Similarly here VB is nothing but that is VB will be equal to voltage across 40 ohm register that is 40 into so in this register current I2 flowing that is I2 which is equal to 40 into 1.667. Let me calculate VA and VB into 2.5 that is 30 into 2.5 that gives 75 let me write 75 volts and let me calculate VB T into 1.667 so it gives 66.68 66.68 so therefore now I can write VOC as or now I can write VOC that is VOC is equal to 75 minus 66.68 therefore VOC will be equal to 75 minus 66.68 it gives 8.32 so this gives 8.32 volt so now after calculating VOC because in maximum power transfer theorem first we have to bring the circuit to Thevenin sequent circuit so in Thevenin sequent circuit we need to calculate VOC the next step is we have to find 
the equivalent resistance between terminal A and B making 100 volt voltage source to short circuit. The equivalent circuit looks like this. So here we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. We will call it as RAB. We need to find RAB. Here we can see that this point is connected to A. This point and this point are same. That is both are same. So now here we can see that 10 and 30 are in parallel. Similarly 20 and 40 are in parallel. This both combinations are in series. So here RAB will be equal to here 10 and 30 are in parallel. 10 is parallel with 30 and 20 and 40. 20 is parallel with 40. So these two combinations are in series that is plus. Therefore I can write RAB is equal to 30 into 10 divided by 30 plus 10 plus here we have 20 into 40 divided by 20 plus 40. Therefore RAB is equal to, equal to 300 divided by 40 plus here we have 800 divided by 60 or I can write RAB is equal to 300 by 40 300 divided by 40 so it gives 7.5 this is 7.5 plus 800 by 800 by 60 so it gives 13.3 13.33 we have 13.33 therefore RAB is equal to 13.33 plus 7.5 it gives 20.83 20.83 ohm so now let me draw the Thevenin sequence circuit so Thevenin sequence circuit consists of VOC in series with RTH. So here VOC is already calculated. Its value is 8.32. This is VOC. It is 8.32 and here we have voltage between resistance between A and B terminal which is 20.83 that is 20.83. 83. So now in superposition in maximum power transfer theorem this register which is removed at the beginning should be connected. So connect RL here. So this is RL. So according to maximum power transfer theorem the maximum power will be received when RL is equal to network impedance. So here network impedance is 20.83. So RL must be 20.83. So RL value must be 20.83 ohms so that it will receive maximum power. Now let me calculate the maximum power. To find maximum power first let me calculate current I in the circuit. Current in the circuit that is I is equal to 8.32 divided by sum of these two that is 20.83 plus 20.83. Let me calculate this. So it is 8.32, 8.32 divided by we have 20.83 plus 20.83. So it gives 0 0.199. I can take it as 0 0.2. So this is 0 0.2 amps. So now we need to find maximum power delivered to the load that is P max is equal to current square into RL that is I square into RL that is I is 0 0.2 square into RL. RL is 20.83. Let me calculate this square into 20.83. So it gives 0.8332 so p max is 
थ्री थ्री टू वैट सो दिस इज द टोटल पावर रिसीव्ड बाय द लोड रेजिस्टेंस आर एल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग